So for those of you who remember Mixamo Fuse, Adobe has finally released an add-on to import the rigs straight into Blender via the Mixamo website. And then you have to do some more. But anyway, finally, Adobe are doing something smart. Um, so let's just go ahead and go through the process of getting it from the Steam version of Fuse, but this will work exactly the same for um, the Adobe version. However, I'm not sure if you're gonna have to rig it as well. So with Mixamo Fuse, file, export, export models, OBJ, blah, 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 blah. Standard default settings, okay. From here, let's go into the Mixamo website. And now I've already uploaded the character, but we'll do it again. I'm gonna click upload. I am just gonna get the OBJ, click and drag it in there. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Let it upload. So let's just give it a sec. And so now we actually have to rig the character because with Mixamo Fuse, it's not freaking rigged. How stupid is that? So let's quickly go next. Let's throw the chin into place. Now, for those of you who follow the channel quite a bit, this kind of looks like Auto Rig Pro, which is very clever if I don't mind saying. I'm just gonna raise the chin a little bit. Knees, probably about there, and groin. You're about there, buddy. Let's click next. And now it's gonna process and create a rig onto this 3D character. So if you've got your own 3D characters and you hate rigging, this is a really good option because now we can use an add-on to create all those controls and so on and so forth in Blender. So there we go, that only took a moment. We've got a little deformation around the head, but I've got a feeling that's because of this character's brute. Um, and I mean, that's something we can fix in white paint a little bit later. So now we've got our character and obviously we can apply any Mixamo animations to this now. And then we can go ahead and download our character. So I'm just gonna use default settings once again, download, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's now jump into Blender, delete the default cube, file, import. Now this is an FBX. Let's go to downloads. I'm gonna download this lad here. Now I've already installed the add-on by going edit, preferences, install, double clicking on the zip. Now, if you want the zip, there is a link in the description. It is a free add-on. So from here, we go to Mixamo. Let's zero out the rig to relax it, so on and so forth. And then we need to select our source skeleton, which will be armature. And then we go create control rig. Boop. Oops, sorry. Okay. Boop. Now we've got our character automatically rigged. Well done. Uh, Adobe, Mixamo. This app's been out for like 11 years. Anyway, so then we've got now all our controls and we can you know go through all the animation processes so on and so forth. But once again, because it is Obi, because it's Adobe, they've done it halfway. So unfortunately, the character actually doesn't have any materials. So let's go into shading. Um, I'm just going to quickly create a material for him. I'm going to go new. Let's go shift A. I'm going to add an image texture and we'll put that into the base color. Let's open and go to where our textures are that we saved from Mixamo Fuse. Let's go body, there we go. Shift D to duplicate that. Now this one's gonna go into specularity. Open that, um, body, specularity. From here, we gotta change the color space to non-color. There we go. Shift D again to duplicate that image texture and we're gonna to go to the normal. Now we need to add in a normal map. So let's go Shift A search and I'm going to type in normal map, throw that one in there, that one in there, and the normal goes in the normal. Fair enough. Um, we need to change the color space to uh, non-color because you can see that we've got this issue here, but if we change it to non-color, they those joints kind of get sorted. Now one last thing we need to do is get the alpha from the diffuse, click and drag and put that into the alpha color. Now, why did I need to do that? That's important for the eyelashes. So if we go back to material, go back to the eyes. There we go. Um, what we need to do as well is on the material, we need to come down to the settings, change the blend mode from opaque to alpha hashed, alpha hashed. There we go. Now we've got proper eyelashes. So anyway, very quick overview. Hopefully you guys caught that. Uh, Adobe stinks. And you know, it would have been good seven years ago when they bought the application, seven years, maybe even longer. I don't know how long they've had Fuse for. 
would have been good to do it a while back. Just saying. Um, this is good for those of you who have already got Mixamo Fuse, who's got access to Mixamo Fuse or Adobe Fuse, whichever really works well. I still would recommend Character Creator 3. Now I've got a whole bunch of videos on Character Creator 3, so go check them out. There's an even better add-on for Character Creator 3, which just imports all the, and just works. It just works. <laughs> Look, it's like 12.30. 12 o'clock. It's, I'm losing the plot, but it's fine. It's fine. Just subscribe.